So our first example of writing a slope-intercept form equation. Given two points, we're going to need to find delta y and delta x. If you recall, delta y is how you go from 5 to 7, because you have ordered pairs that are stacked. You got y, y, x, x. So to go from 5 to 7, you would add 2. To go from 3 to 6, that would be called delta x. Looks like a triangle there. And so we would say that's going to be plus 3. That's our change in values there. Slope is equal to delta y over delta x. In this case, it would be 2 thirds. Now to write our equation, and I want you to do this every time you do your homework, I want you to write y equal delta y, delta x, x plus c so that you remember this formula. You need to memorize it, commit it to memory, don't ever forget it. And so when I look at this, I know what delta y delta x is. It's just 2 thirds. y equals 2 thirds x plus c. This is called a slope-intercept form. So I'm providing you with one piece of information. I need the other piece of information. I need to know what the intercept is. To find the intercept, I plug in one of the sets of ordered pairs. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one and plug it in. So I'm going to run with the 3, 5. I put the 5 in for the y. 2 thirds is still there. I put the 3 in for the x. There's my ordered pair, 3, 5 plus c. As I solve this, I notice that the 3's can cancel out here. And so I have 5 is equal to 2 plus c. I move my 2 over. I can go 5 minus 2 is equal to c, so 3 is equal to c. This gives me the y-intercept, where it's going to cross the y-axis. I can take all this information now and write an equation. My equation will be y equals 2 thirds x, and now I can put a value in for c, be plus 3. To describe this, see here you have your equation now, slope, intercept. To describe it, I look at the slope and I would say it has a shallow, incline, and that's because the slope is two-thirds. Slope of two-thirds told me I had a shallow incline. And I have a y-intercept as an ordered pair would be located at 0, 3. And so you could predict what your line looks like. That is example one.